What's up, guys? Pet Man Matt Marr here. We're taking a look at a big game here, um, South Charlotte. Uh, a couple years ago, I called it the Park Road Rivalry. Um, I don't know if they call it that or not, but <laughs> it's South Mecklenburg traveling over to play Charlotte Catholic. And um, this game has been close the past couple of years. And, um, you know, South Mech has a good formula on Catholic's offense on how to slow them down and, um, you know, really limit them at times. The, the problem has been, you know, South Mech last year we were there. Um, the, the offense only put up seven points, and um, the defense did their job. They, for, they forced four turnovers. Um, they held South, uh, excuse me, they held Catholic to ten points. And, you know, it was one of the best um, performances of a defense I've seen against the Catholic offense in, I don't know, a long, long time, if ever. Um, but they still weren't able to pull that out. And, um, you know, Coach Rocky White has said that this is not a rivalry until they beat them on a somewhat regular basis. And um, they've had that one win in the past, I don't know, nine or ten last meetings. And, um, you know, I, you can't help but agree with what he's saying. But, you know, the fans believe it's a big game. The city believes it's a big game. So we, we call it a big rivalry game. <laughs> So obviously your key for South Mech is do what they've been doing the past couple years and um, really key in on the tendencies of formations that Catholic runs and the plays they run out of them. Um, that, that was one of the things I noticed last year that they did a really good job with. Um, and, you know, the, the thing has been offense for, for South Mech in this game. So they also have to find something, I think, I think it's got to be in the passing game with Antonio Wallace, and um, you got to attack that second level of the defense where you know Catholics a little younger. Um, Olympic was able to have some set some success. Some people called them fluke plays, but they still count. <laughs> so you got to emulate some of the things Olympic did to be successful, and um, try to put those into your offense, and maybe even go a little tempo. You know, back in week one, Charlotte Christian had a lot of success going no huddle tempo in the first half of that game and, you know, try to mix some of that in if you're South Mac. Obviously, for Catholic, um, you got to control the line of scrimmage. It's going to be tough. you got big Jake Lawler over there on the uh, defensive side of the football uh, leading the charge for that front seven along with uh, Holden Parker in the middle. Um, but, you know, I think the, the play-action game for Catholic on first down especially – Try not to be as predictable um, as, as you've shown in film. Break tendency a little bit. Um, I think that's one of the keys that they're going to have to do uh, this time around because they were really on them last year. Uh, defensively, tackle well in space. Um, South Mac does have players that can make plays. Um, and then you got to get after Antonio Wallace, especially in third down situations. If you give him time, he can sit there and um, you know pick you apart. Now, he... Um, didn't play last year, so this, it's going to be a big, big um, asset for South Mech in this one. But I think it's going to be another great game. Uh, I've seen some people on the forums predict the South Mech victory. They think this is the time they break through and get that big win that they've been looking for. Um, you know, especially the past couple of years, to kind of turn the corner a little bit. Um, some people are predicting Catholic to win, of course. So I think it's a, another great game this week. And um, if you go, check it out. Let us know what you see and what you think. Thanks a lot for watching. Good luck to both teams.